Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Um, and also thank you for bearing with me as I learn how to uh, make and edit and you know do these videos. Uh, it's super fun for us to uh, share our content and uh, whatever else uh, other people might be learning. Um, it's really fun for us to interact with you. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Um, and uh, again, we're gonna just kinda you know, learn how to do this on the way. Um, as you could tell, I was taking the um, tape off the binding job I did yesterday, and um, I'm going to show you guys, uh, I'm working on this next build today. Um, I'm going to take the um, fingerboard clamps and headstock veneer um, clamps off of this harp guitar, which is a different one than the one uh, we were looking at there. Um, and, then, and then after that, <laughs> And then after that, I'm going to, we're going to, Dave's going to help me build a fingerboard and headstock veneer for the one that um, we took the binding tape off of. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, have you guys kind of follow me around today a little bit and I'll see what kind of a video that makes. Um, so uh, anyway. Um, Right now I'm working on this harp guitar, which is another, a third NST. There's those other two over there on the wall right there. The blue, blue bottle is pointing at them. Those are the two I just showed you. And this one is a third one we're working on. And it is about to get, it's got the lining glued in. The curved lining, the laser curved lining, which we've been doing lately, which is super awesome. Thanks to our mom for making a bunch of laser curved lining on the laser engraver. Um, makes it really easy to uh, glue that stuff in. Super cool looking uh, pattern there. Gives it a very three-dimensional uh, effect when we glue that in. Anyway, um, right now I'm working on this tie block area. <coughs> There's the tie block template. And um, I'll go ahead and uh, see if I can get this in the screen. So anyway, I've, I just made this uh, walnut block. That's the uh, tuner peg block. Um, we call this the tuner peg pocket, the super treble tuner pocket. And so I just uh, kind of put this template on there and I traced, I, tra I traced this block of wood on there and, and uh, got this nice little um, block of walnut. It's got walnut uh, edges over here and a little walnut back strip <coughs> or tail strip. And uh, now I'm about to glue this in. So I will time lapse that for you. Okay, uh, let me take this helmet off. All right, so um, you just saw me do the bracing job of the, uh, of the top that uh, you just saw me do the uh, tuner pocket block for. So this is the top that I just braced, it's right here. And um, I just did. I just did all the bracing. So now what I'm going to do is is take this uh, this whole rolling table into the other room, and I'll glue it all up. All right, well, you guys are in luck because I've got some little pieces of salmon here and I've got a hungry, hungry turtle. 
So you guys get to watch me feed the turtle today. Won't that be a treat? These pieces, these pieces of fish are frozen, so I have to kind of thaw them out a little bit before Al will eat them. He usually likes them kind of frozen, though. Al, you're a movie star, little buddy. There you go. Is that too big of a piece? We got the tweezers. Chew it up, Al. He doesn't like to he doesn't like to waste any. Only the best for Al the turtle. Looked like you got mad there for a second. There you go, little buddy. All right, what did you think of that? Let me know in the comments. That's Aloysius Devadonder Abercrombie, the turtle. He uh, was about this big when we got him, so uh, we figured he needed a very big name. And uh, so it's just Al for short, though. So let me know what you think of Al the turtle in the comments. <laughs> okay, well, we are back with this harp guitar right here, which is the one originally that uh, this uh, video series was going to be about. Uh, I started with um, binding this this harp guitar. It was already pre-built and uh, we, you guys are catching up with it um, as the binding is getting glued on and the, and the rest of the work. So um, little did I know, uh, Dave already built this beautiful fingerboard for it on the CNC machine previously. So um, I might as well go ahead and fret that thing up. And I'll just probably do a time lapse of that. And then this is the uh, hard guitar, and it already has really nice headstock veneer there uh, with a pearl logo on it. So that will, of course, go right there. And then the fingerboard will go on just like so. And uh, I guess I better get busy and get this thing fretted up. Okay, now that's done. The fingerboard is fully fretted. I need to do a little buffing job to it, get all that wax off there after I cut off all these, or grind off all these little fret tangs. And I also need to put a dot on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh fret. So right there. And uh, then I'll be done with this fretboard and I think I can glue it up. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and do that off camera. Okay, I was gonna have us check in with Dave. Um, he's working on an inlay for the uh, instrument that I just did the top bracing job for. So, um, let's see here if we can show that. This is the harp head veneer. Looks pretty cool. Three sets of angel wings. Big, bigger, and biggest. So, there's Dave working on the inlay. Just cleaning her up. Yeah, I'm just cleaning up that inlay for the uh, NST for a customer, I believe. <coughs> Good job, Dave. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. Um, this is the uh, harp guitar there that we, we just bound. Or, I mean, we just glued the top on that you saw in the time lapse there, and it turned out really good. Here is the uh, headstock veneer with the really awesome, um, what the customer called angel wing um, inlays. And so, uh, yeah, hope you guys liked the video. I'm going to try to do a little outro like this so that they don't end so abruptly like that last one. And uh, yeah. Um, Enjoy our YouTube channel. Hope we're putting out a lot more content on a regular basis. Say goodbye, Dave. Have a good one. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, you betcha. Make sure you, uh, if you like this kind of content, subscribe to our channel.